This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. And today, I'm in the city of Richmond. More specifically, I'm in South Richmond in the Stratford Hill subdivision. And today we're gonna to take a look at a five bedroom, three full bath home. This home is newly renovated. We are situated here in a nice quiet block. This is actually an older stately neighborhood. Uh, we've got a nice mix of architecture here uh, in this area. If you're all familiar with Stony Point Mall, that is the part of town that we are in. And uh, we've got some really nice lots here. This home is gonna be situated on just over half an acre. And we've got uh, some nice trees, not too many trees, but good shaded lot. This home has an addition that was put on uh, there on the right side and all additions are not created equal. This one, however, really had a positive impact on the flow and functionality of the home. The addition did include a two car attached rear entry garage, which is a nice feature, as well as an amazing primary suite, but you're gonna see that here momentarily. Here in the rear of the lot, we have plenty of space for parking. This home is an entertainer's dream. Uh, if you have people over, there will be no shortage of parking for them. Uh, we also have two storage buildings here in the rear, and the rear also features a sunroom there on the very back of the house. So we've got plenty of space here. Uh, this is definitely a great location. In fact, I just came from the mall here a few minutes ago. Uh, my work wife treated me to a wonderful breakfast and uh, really enjoyed that wonderful meal. Okay, let's go on back in the front door and see exactly what we have in store with this home. If you're new to the channel, I cover a variety of different types of interesting homes here in the Metro Richmond area. Special thanks to Bilal Hosan, who is the listing agent kind enough to allow us to come in and take a look at this one. Less than 1% of the homes that I can help with ever appear on video. So just because you don't see it here, if it's a particular type of home that you're looking for, your first time buyer, or you need to sell and move up, if you're coming in from out of town, this is just a small fraction, a small sampling of homes that I'd be able to help with. We have thousands of homes that are available and I can help with each and every one. Okay, we can see here on the front, good looking front elevation. We've got a nice mix of brick and siding. We've got plenty of light that's gonna flow in through that front window. You'll of course see that on the inside and uh, just a really nice looking front yard that sits back beautifully from the front street. As I mentioned, very little traffic actually comes through. So this would be a, a nice peaceful location. And let's go on up and see what we have in store. This is a unique floor plan. As we come in here to the left, we have an opening to our living room. Straight ahead is going to be passage to the dining room. And then to the right, is actually going to be our bedroom wing. Right here, convenient to the front door, we have a coat closet. We're gonna spin around and actually start here in our living room. Our living room features crown molding recessed lights. That massive window there gives you a beautiful opening to look out and enjoy the front yard. Another window here by the door and a wood burning fireplace. I love what they did with the contrasting uh, colonial blue. I think that works very nicely here in this home. We do have a beautiful wood floors here throughout this entire first floor. We are transitioning to our dining room. Here in the dining room, we have crown molding as well as chair rail, recessed lights once again, plenty of light. These are gonna be replacement windows. And let's take a look here at this sunroom. Sunrooms are always nice because you have the ability to open those sliding windows and just let plenty of breeze in. There are screens to keep the mosquitoes at bay and keep you nice and comfortable. This door is actually gonna take us back to the kitchen and uh, I love what we have here. Uh, this is a wonderful space. Uh, not only do we have shade, but we also have a ceiling fan to move some air around as needed. All right, let's go back inside and see what we have in store in our newly renovated kitchen. 
which is going to be right here to the left. We do have a door, so if you wanted to close that kitchen off from the dining room, you have the ability to do so. Here in the kitchen, we have a nice white kitchen with quartz countertop, a double oven there. Actually, one is a microwave and the other is oven at the end of the wall there. Double bowl sink, stainless appliances, uh, and plenty of view here. We've got three windows here uh, looking out the backyard. That's a really nice touch. On the opposite side, we have our cooktop. Uh, there is quartz that actually serves as our backsplash, which goes all the way up to the bottom of the cabinets. I imagine that would make cleaning very easy. Our kitchen also features crown molding here throughout. Definitely a nicely laid out kitchen. All right, directly ahead is going to be our bar area. That would be a great place if you have adult beverages. Uh, want to put out uh, some Merlot, Scotch, Hennessy, Ripple, whatever your beverage of choice is, you could put it right there. All right, here to the left is going to be our pantry. And we've got a good pantry storage space. Directly ahead, that is the front door that we came in. You, of course, can close this door off if you chose to do so. And then to the left is going to be our stairs going down to our amazing finished garage. If you are at all familiar with this area, you know that we don't do a whole lot of finished basements in Central Virginia, but this one definitely has just that. Another wood-burning fireplace, not something that's very common, but imagine having friends and family over. You could throw some logs in there on a nice cold winter day. Everyone can enjoy each other's company. Directly ahead is the bar, and you could, of course, enjoy that bar. The bar does have a wine chiller, so you have that capacity already down there directly ahead, and then plenty of storage here underneath. Directly ahead is a bedroom. We've got a downstairs bedroom, which is ideal. If you have guests that are coming in, they can have their own space down here. We've got another door that leads to this space. And this, of course, is a full bath right here on suite. So they can close that door on the right, close the door on the left, and then be completely contained in here. Uh, there is a closet. So an appraiser would count this as a legit bedroom. And then we're going to go straight on out into our rec room. This is going to be the rec room portion of the downstairs. You can see it is staged with a ping pong table, but you could put a pool table, pinball machines, video games, whatever you choose down here. And then we come directly out into our rear entry garage and this is of course on the end of the home we do have some natural light of course that flows in and then we are now facing the back of the home all right let's go back through and that is going to be a storage closet right there here to the left is our laundry and we've got a nice size laundry room we do have a utility sink in place plenty of storage over those appliances. And then on the left side, another refrigerator. So you've got uh, plenty of capacity here. You've got drinks in the bar and snacks or food there in the fridge down here. So there's no real need to go upstairs, but that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. Here at the top of the stairs, we are going to go left. That's gonna take us back, heading towards the front of the home. And then to the left down the hallway. Nice long hallway. We've got the wood floors here that continue through this space. This home does have a pull down attic and we're going to start here on the left side. This is going to be bedroom number two. Remember we had one bedroom already downstairs. That's a full size or yeah, that's a full size bed that's staged here. So we've got plenty of space. The closet is going to go all the way across. So we've got a nice big closet directly across the hall. It's going to be bedroom number three. This would be an excellent space for an office as they have it staged because you're looking out over the front of the home. Notice we've got the beautiful wood floors in this space as well. Our hall bath, 
I love what they did with the brass fixtures. We've got that granite countertop and then ceramic tile all the way to the ceiling with a nice oversized shower head. Very nicely done. Notice we have that blue touch once again. We've seen that blue before in this home in the fireplaces. And um, I like the when a, a rehabber continues a theme through a home, uh, it just shows uh, real good attention to detail. We have a nice deep linen closet here. You get some good storage there. And then to the right is gonna be bedroom number four. That's gonna be a queen size bed that's currently staged. There are no tiny bedrooms in this home whatsoever. So you've got really good size adult bedrooms here throughout. All right, now we're gonna make a right. This is where our addition starts. You can see that we have that trim work. So this is where the home was uh, added onto and we are now entering the primary suite. Now this is absolutely massive. If you can imagine the garage, which was a two door garage, this is the entire space of that garage all here in the primary. This is a very large space. That is gonna be a queen size bed that's in place. You could obviously do a couple king size beds on that wall and have no problem as far as space. We've got two walk-in closets and these are really nicely spaced. Plenty of storage. You could do additional rods in there if desired. Nice big window. Actually, you could make that a little sitting area. And then our other walk-in is about the same size. Plenty of storage. These floors look absolutely amazing. We've got recessed lights here throughout this bedroom, in addition to a couple of skylights. And we do have the ability on those to use those shades if needed. If you didn't like it uh, very bright, you could of course close those shades and cut down that light. Love what I see here. This is just an amazing space uh, with plenty of room in this primary, but it gets better. Yes, indeed. We have our primary bath here. They did a great job with it. Uh, we've got that quartz countertop there, nice double vanity. We've got ceramic tile on the floor. As we come around to the right is going to be our water closet. We can shut that door and then look at this shower, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely stunning. We've got that nice big shower head. Once again, we've got the Brass fixtures, gorgeous species of granite here with the brown, tan, and gray accents. Love that. As we spin around, we have a whole enclosure area with this amazing soaking tub. And uh, self-care is very important, ladies. Uh, could you imagine yourself sitting there, nice hot shower, you've got a faux stained window right there. And we also have the detachable head there. So we've got uh, an amazing showering experience, shower and bathing experience here uh, in this beautiful primary bath. Boy, I love what uh, they did here in this, and this is a special property indeed. If you have questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It'd be an honor for me to help. I can help you on the purchase side, or the selling side anywhere in the country. We've got a network of other highly qualified, skilled, experienced agents that would be happy to help you. Max Williams, 804-402-7788. I can be reached on Facebook on Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.